Okay, so I haven't done one of these speedrun things in quite a while, and I decided I wanted to do one tonight. So what I'm going to do today is a speedrun of an install of i3 Window Manager, an install of Polybar, and then I'm going to customize it with Pywall. So this should be pretty fun. So there's not much here to talk or discuss about. If you want to follow along, you can. All this stuff will be done in real time. There will be no editing done once the start once the clock starts and uh yeah it should be pretty fun so let's go ahead and do this thing shall we let's start the clock so we're gonna be doing this on endeavor os to let you know so uh, turn down like so there you go the clock has started now where do i start <laughs> so i guess the first thing to do is uh open up a terminal here clear this out and do uh pseudo pat man dash oops, dash s and then i3 and then what we're going to want to get is uh polybar i don't know if polybar is actually in the in the standard repos or not we're going to find out and then uh i know for sure that pywall is not so we'll do this here oh yep okay so we want one and then yes there we go so polybar is in fact in the core repos and then do paru pywall like so and then we're gonna want let's see here one there as well I think one and three for sure because we want the one for uh, Firefox as well so uh, yeah I think that that is good right there oh there's one for telegram too I didn't know that cool all right we'll do this and this and there we go I don't know why that uh, the package build part took so damn long, but who knows? Let's go ahead and get this thing to install. All right, cool. Now let's uh, do a ls of that slash user share uh, x sessions like so. Make sure there's i3 there, which there is. Cool. So let's go ahead and do a log out here, and uh, so we can get started. So we're gonna log out and uh, we'll go up here. I think it's here. Go to i3, type in our handy dandy password, hit enter and enter again, and then let's see what terminal it brings up. So super enter is a terminal. It's been a long time since I've done a standard i3 uh, uh, install, so it's been it's been a bit. So let's do let's see here. The we're going to remember where the standard i3 actually it makes a configuration file for us that we, that's what we just did moron okay you can tell i'm not very good at speed runs i'm really bad at this stuff i uh, shouldn't be rambling so cd.config i3 ls here vim, vim into config like so so we're gonna open up another one sudo pacman dash s firefox and we're gonna need a kitty and i think that's it for now that's good for there. And then we're also going to need a font of some kind. So um, Paru Jet Brains. Like so. See if we can. Yep. We're going to want number one. There we go. Yes. Actually, might have already been installed, to be honest with you. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Okay. So there we go there. So. Quitting on i3 is super Q, no, super shift Q. Yeah, there we go. Haha, <laughs> remembered. All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to change jet brains mono nerd font, and we're going to make that to uh, 12. That'd be good. And then we'll go down here to the terminal section. See if I can find that. Yep, there it is right there. And we're going to change this to change dollar sign kitty. And we'll write and quit that. And then we're going to reboot or restart i3, which I believe is super shift and R. And it is, I think. Is that is that actually kitty? I can't tell. How are you supposed to know? All right, super shift Q, there we go. Sure, we'll update all my ZSH. It's not as if we're doing anything else. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see. We'll go back into there again. Vim into config again. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is get rid of the bar. 
D D D D D D. There we go. Good. Get rid of these things too. All right. Now what we want to do. Next thing I want to do is change a couple key bindings to make this better. So we want. Uh, where is it? Let's see here. The, one, the ones that we need to change are very easy. So the good news is it looks like. Hey, look at that. In the standard i3 configuration file, they've changed the move around stuff to the. Oh, they didn't. I, I thought. I thought they made the change. H. J, K, L. Oops. There we go. And then we also need to change the kill here to just super shift and Q, like so. And I also want to change uh, this one here to exec. Uh, this one here, Rofi dash show uh, D run. I think that's what I need. Uh, and we also need install Rofi, like so. There we go. Is it already installed? Nope. All right. And we can close that. All right. Now we can write and quit this or write this. Restart i3. Oh, we have errors. What did I do wrong? Uh, let's see. Show errors. Duplicate key binding. Oh, super split H. Ah, oh, that's through. I, I do that every single time. Okay. Let's go down here. Gonna change this one here to Super Shift H. I think it'll work. Uh, Super Shift H. No, we're not gonna be able to do that. We're gonna have to change it to something different. Super Shift B. That'll work. We gotta, we gotta change this one here too. So change H, J, K, and L. There we go. Now start. There we go. Now when we move around, it'll be good fine. So we, let's change this x render dash s 1920 by 1080. Like so, that's much better. And there we go. All right, key bindings all set. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to another workspace. Open up Firefox. That's good. And we need to go to Polybar. All right, there we go. And Wiki, because I'm never going to remember the standard locations of these files here. Let's um, see. So to get it started with your customization, you need to create a configuration file here. You can copy the default configuration file from this location. OK, so um, make directory-p.config Polybar. OK, and then cp there and uh, dot config polybar okay there we go cool we also need to launch dot x s h script so we need to vim into launch we need to spell it right dot s h like so go down here they have a copy of it right here we do not need two bars though so copy that paste that oops like so we're going to delete this one here we're going to call our bar bar one is perfectly fine we rank right with that chmod plus x uh, launch dot sh like so okay now we sh we need to vim into the configuration file we need to change the name of the bar which is here i went too far bar oops i changed i made it bar one there we go uh, let me open up another terminal uh, run polybar looky there cool huh all right we can close that now it's a matter of opening up the i3 configuration file like so oops did i already have one of those i did okay we can quit that then all right, now let's see. let's go up here. Actually, let's go down here. Exec underscore always dash dash no startup ID, and then we want uh, tilde slash dot config slash polybar slash launch dot sh. Got to spell it right, and then write that. Restart i3. We should have polybar. Simple as that. Cool. Now, the next thing we want to do 
is remind ourselves how to get rid of the title bars in i3, which I can never remember how to do. So, uh, bars in i3 window manager. I think that they're actually, this is the new way of doing it. Yep, right here. So we will go this, go here, go up here to the rules. So that they're all kind of in the same place ish. I think there's some standard rules already built in. Maybe there's not. Uh, yeah, there's kind of. Well, we'll put it here. It doesn't really matter. Like so. Restart this. And, uh, Oops, it's, you gotta actually save that. Wow, that didn't do anything. <laughs> that totally didn't work. Okay. Uh, well, we'll try the old way then. This is the way that it used to be done. Um, so we're gonna uh, delete these and paste this. There we go. Now it's gone. Cool. That's what we needed. Now we need to go to here and go to the i3 window manager conf uh, documentation so i3 window manager.org and then go to docs and then user guide and then uh, we're going to search for colors changing colors right here we need this block right here now i've never understood in all my years of using i3 why this block isn't included in the default configuration file it makes no sense to me that it's not uh, every part of i3 other than well a third-party bar would use this and it's not included by default it doesn't make any sense but it doesn't matter i don't need to rant i need to go down here open up this paste this okay now um, we actually may not end up needing that now that i think about it because we're going to use pywall but we'll put it in there for now we're not going to do anything with it uh, until i know how to do Py pywall because i've never actually done pywall with with uh, i3 before we're going to it's going to be a new experience. So the good news is because of using Pywall, we shouldn't need to do actually any configuration with any of the colors whatsoever. It should do it automatically with some the wallpaper. So if you've never used Pywall before, basically what Pywall does is it creates a color scheme based on the wallpaper that you set. Now, the unfortunate thing is that it does appear to be abandoned. Now, uh, there's a good chance that someone out there has created a fork of this. I think there's one called Pywall 16 that is still being maintained. Uh, but I haven't used any of the forks or anything. I've just still used this one. It seems to still work. So that's good. Now we have it installed. So we're going to make sure that I have everything installed that I need to have installed. Uh, I think I do. To use the wall emulator, you must support. I think we will get that set up. So we're going to go back to the wiki, go to uh, getting started, and then I think... What we will do next is, let's see here. So let's get a, where do we want to go next? Let's, uh, wow, you should not get discomposed. Um, I fixed the clock, by the way. There you go. It was just too small. Um, it was it was running. I'm, I apologize for that. I promise I, <laughs> I didn't do any cheating. Uh, I, sh I just need to make sure. Let me, there we go. Make this a little bit smaller. It, I'm sorry for the small size of the clock. I apologize for that. And the, the fact that I wasn't running for 12, probably 10 minutes. Maybe maybe only three. Maybe who knows how long. I just I just noticed it right now. All right. <laughs> We're at 13 minutes. We've done some stuff. That's all that matters. Let's see if we can get this thing done in uh, by, by the 30 minute mark. Let's go. Let's aim for that, shall we? Okay. So applying theme to new terminals. Um, oh. Wall only applies new colors to the currently open terminals, but you can change that by going to the uh, installate, not installation, but the customization options here. So what we want to do is find Kitty um, terminals. I think I just completely passed it, right? Ah, there it is, right there. Blinder and a bat. Okay, so in Kitty we need to. Open your kitty configuration file, so we can just go ahead and quit out of this and cd into dot config. Uh, that's just dot dot slash dot dot slash kitty. Unfortunately, there is not a default configuration file in this position right here. If I think if I do an ls here, there's absolutely nothing here, which there's not, unfortunately. So I think if we do control alt f2.
I go control F2. I'm a fleeting moron. Uh, control F2. There we go. Maybe. Alt F2. What is the... Maybe it's just F2. I don't remember. Screw it. I'm going to have to look it up. Damn. Uh, kitty. Terminal. Default. Configuration file. Uh, I'm sure I've misspelled something there, which I did. Here we go. What, what's the what's the key binding to get there? Control Shift F2. I knew it was F2 something. Control Shift F2. There we go. All right. Now it opens it up in Nano. How adorable. Uh, it's probably better than opening up in Vim because in Vim it bring it gives you folds. Um, so let's go. Let's. <laughs> I know you can change that, by the way. I'm using Kitty on my name, on my main, but I don't have the configuration file where they're having it. So let's change this to a proper font size. Oops, not change. <laughs> I'm not in Vim anymore, Matt. I'm not in Vim. Uh, using the arrow keys like a Neanderthal. Okay, get rid of this here and turn this into uh, Jet Brains Mono a Nerd font and then oh, not you can't can't write from there matt okay now we're gonna scroll down to the colors um i don't even know how to search in nano <laughs> so we're just gonna scroll down i could just read the how to search down there at the bottom where the helpful tool is but nah it's not as if i'm in it in a time crunch at all customization scroll back don't need to change any of that right now mouse the mouse section goes on for a fair bit if i remember right yep still going in the mouse section they spent a lot of time with mouse integration in a terminal emulator i'm telling you man this right here is why i don't like the kitty default configuration file okay so we're still in the uh, i think we actually made it to the, the i think we made it to somewhere different okay let's see here window layout Uh, and then I believe, how do you get to the next one? Um, no. Control G, maybe? Nope. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I want Vim. This is... Alright, where is kitty.conf? See, it's not actually there. <laughs> okay. I have mine just to start over again because this is <laughs> this is fucking me all over. Um, where the hell is the kit? All right, let's quit this so I can actually be full screen. Tab bar. I have no clue where I'm actually at in the kitty config. This is why you don't put documentation in the fucking configuration file. It's there we are. here we go. And of course you can't actually. So what what, what do you have to do in Nano? Just sit here and, and press the delete key like a fucking moron. Um, it's, is this how nano people feel when they open up them? Um, <laughs> I don't actually have to do that, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm being a, an idiot. Um, where the hell is, I see, this is, you take a day off from doing a video and all of a sudden you just don't remember how to do it anymore. Okay. So let's, uh, that's, and that, then I was going to copy the wrong one. That's hilarious. There we go. There we go. All right. Control X, all that, and I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> I'm dumb. I, I just spent like three of my minutes <laughs> doing that. I'm really bad at speed runs because I, I get so scatterbrained. Okay, there is that now. I think that that's kitty. All that for something that we didn't even really need to do. All right, we can get it, get it out of that. Just I'm making a video on kitty, and half the, that video is going to be me bitching about the configuration file. Okay. Let's um. Let's go back up here. Home. All right, and then we want to do I three is next. So 
To use well with i3, you have to make some modifications to your i3 configuration file. You can read the colors from X resources into config variables. This allows us to change i3's colors dynamically. On run wall, will detect what you're, that you're running i3 and reload your config file for you. If you set it up correctly, i3 will then use your new color scheme. For example, set from resources. So this is all. This stuff all goes into Protip. You can also dynamically set D menus color schemes that way. I don't need to do that because I'm not using D menu. So this is the stuff that we need, I think, and that's really all there is to it. So we need to go here, here, and uh, of course I copied all that stuff earlier and didn't need to do so. Um, but that's okay. Now that I'm back in Vim, I actually know how to do things again. Um, halfway anyways. Okay, so there's that now. Um, go back up to home, the top of the screen, and we're going to find Polybar. Polybar is the next one. And uh, let's see here. There it is right there, taskbars. Um, so Polybar can read from X resources to set bars colors. Wall will also reload your config file for you automatically if it detects that Polybar is running. So all we need to do is change. We need to add this stuff here. And then I believe it will be fine. But you can add extra colors. I'm just not sure how to do it yet. We're going to find that out. So we'll go back to this one here. We'll actually open this up here. cd.config, polybar, vim config. And we're going to need to, I believe, just paste this here. And then, oops, delete this here. Yeah, OK. So oops. Oops. Damn it. Maybe I don't know how to use Vim after all. All right, there we go. All right, now we'll reload everything here. Well, that obviously uh, Wall is taking the, the colors from the non-existent background, which is this. So now it's time to set a wallpaper. So we're going to go find ourselves a wallpaper. So let's find a, a cool, oops, wow, cool with three O's, uh, moon wallpaper, like so. Uh, images that'll be fine I don't care uh, let's see open uh, image new tab make sure it's actually 1080p which it is it's fine save image as uh, I, I appreciate my watch going off like that's awesome thanks for that we're gonna save it in pictures and save and then we're gonna open up or actually what we're gonna need to do is do install fa like so hey, yep now we're going to CD into pictures like so and then we're going to do fe dash BG dash dash BG scale like so and MH like so like that we should have we did it did change in fact change that now do I need to well, I did not change the anything else though <laughs> It totally did not work. Okay, we probably I'm guessing because if we go here, we're doing ls like so. There's probably not an x res there is vim x resources like so. So there's actually stuff here, but it's not. Let's see here. Let's um actually yeah we close that for now. We'll go back here. Um, there's probably something in the x resources that we actually need to put in there. So let's find out. Uh, let's see where where would that information be let's find out so let's see if it's in the installation part dependencies terminal emulator before that test clear in your current yet yeah, we'll need to do that um, but before we do that we need to see if there's a place where you need to put anything in the X resources because it's not defining any colors in here uh, let's see getting started then maybe how to use wall applying themes in new terminals making color scheme persist on root which we'll have to do a custom wallpaper setter hmm we're missing something use user template files I don't think there's gonna be anything here oh wait a minute nope that's not what we're looking for Okay, of course it wasn't going to actually be easy. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see here. So we'll go back to the i3 one here. So uh, colors can be re read from X resources into config variables. Hmm. But don't you have to have anything in, in X resources to do this? Now, see, when I did this in Qtile, it was much easier. <laughs> it just worked. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Maybe we should have done Qtile instead. Um, you want to run? I'm a fucking moron. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Guys, just don't watch this video anymore. I'm a moron. I'm a bleeding idiot. Okay. Um, if you hadn't known that one, but anyway, CD, pictures. In order to run wall, uh, Pywall, you actually have to run the freaking command. Who do? So wall, dash I, and then MH, like so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm a bleeding moron. Oh. Oh, that's okay, Matt. Everyone has those things. And I still made it before the half an hour part, but I probably could have made it under 20 minutes if I hadn't been a freaking idiot. Um, yeah. Let's uh, go find another wallpaper and we'll show it actually works. We'll, we won't do a moon one. We'll do a Linux one this time. Cool Linux wallpaper. Well, none of those. Those are horrendous Linux wallpapers. That one actually looks like a Windows wallpaper. Um, we need something with some colors. Huh. That'll work. Yeah. Dropbox to save the day. Let's see, open image, new tab, make sure it's 1080p, which it is. Save image as. Dropbox, like so. Go here. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why it was having some errors there, but it doesn't matter. Wall, dash I. And then let's see here. Do, do, do. Grubbox, like so. There we go. We now we have Dropbox. Cool. I'm not sure why it's giving me those errors. That does, um, I'm sure there's something there that I could fix, but not that big of a deal. I'm also not sure why Control C is not working, but it doesn't matter. So we'll just close that, and there we go. We have ourselves i3 with polybar with pywall so and um just because we're still under 30 minutes we'll go here and do it again we'll we'll change another we'll find another wallpaper so instead of linux we'll this time we'll use windows because we're going to troll people there we go that's 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 a good one uh save image as i don't even care if it's 1080p this time because windows uh wall dash uh, cd pictures I, I could give the full uh, path, but who cares? Wall dash I. Uh, don't do as I do. It is the way is the me the motto of this particular uh, tutorial, which is not it's not was never meant to be a tutorial. There you go. Um, we have ourselves I three with Pi Wall working just fine, and uh, with a lovely Windows wallpaper. What more could you want? Um, Obviously, if you watched this all the way through and you followed me through my mistakes, um, I apologize. I, I'm so, so sorry for being an idiot. Um, all I can say is I'm in pain because I hurt my knee and I, well, I'm an idiot all the time. So I can't even really use that as an excuse. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so uh, 28 minutes, we're going to call that right there. Uh, a 28 minute speed run with i3, polybar, and piewall all installed. So uh, I will control C that and... Uh, We'll have that, you know, just stored in memory or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that is it for uh, this video. Uh, thank you for getting me all the way through this. I can't believe some of those mistakes. Some of them were so bad. Especially that last one. I'm like, why isn't it working? Well, maybe you have to use the freaking command in order to do it first. Doy. Oh, man, it's really bad. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I truly do appreciate it. If you stopped watching after my first mistake, obviously you're not hearing this now, but if you come back for some reason, um, I don't blame you for leaving. Um, some of those were some of those were doozies. Wow. Uh, also, that whole three-minute period where I was trying to do uh, 
<laughs> trying to use nano highly entertaining i mean that's just pure gold anyways that's it for this video if you want to get in contact with me you can leave a contact a comment in the comment section below let me know what an, uh, how much of an idiot i actually am uh, i i appreciate those comments just like all the others so uh I, you know whatever uh, you can follow me on mastodon or odyssey those links will be in the video description you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channels would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you very very much for your support i truly do appreciate it uh i'm not going to put the dot files of this up anywhere uh because if you wanted to do it you could follow along and um probably do it in half the time so anyways thanks for watching everybody i'll see you next time